All right, what's going on everyone? So I just recorded a fade to black video that I was uploading when I realized that the audio was garbage on it. I don't have to re-record it again. <laughs> um, oh well, it happens. Uh, but yeah, the live stream is currently going on right now and who knows, maybe I'll, I might not record it again and I might just go based off of this because I remember everything I said. Um, the live stream is currently going on right now and t I think they're gonna show us, um, I think they're gonna show us the gameplay. So let's take a look at that. I haven't seen it. I don't know what's gonna go on. But I'm pretty sure they're going to show us the gameplay. And I'll go over their abilities as well because I did that in the last one as well. Um, so we're getting a new event with Kisuke. So that kind of makes sense. Uh, he also has a... It's also a ticket event. So it's your chance to get BBS tickets, get new 5 stars. Um, Yoroichi's coming back. One of the best links out there. Uh, if you don't have her, get her. Get her again. Uh, you know, it's up to you. Uh... Okay, Fade to Black is coming. It's so, so soon after Movie 4, it doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Uh, it's going to have Kisuke, my favorite character. There's a chance I'm going to skip this, you know, give up uh, Kisuke for Manga Kisuke, who's hopefully coming by the end of uh, end of next month. Now, step. I think the reason they came out this early is because they end the whole movie banner ends on 7-16, um, which is only about a week before step ups. So really, these guys summon, <sighs> summon carefully because step ups is literally just after this. Um, let's take a look here. Their individual banners and their dates. Like I said, it ends on seven fifteen or seven sixteen. I'm sorry. Uh, so it's <sighs> it's a tricky one. It's going to be very tricky, and I and I, you guys need to summon on. Uh, you know. Be careful <laughs> because this is gonna this is gonna be tricky. Um, movie three, oh cool! I didn't know that that was an art from movie three. Anyway, Fade to Black it does have its uh, it's it's already in the game. It's not playable yet till the sixteenth, but it's there. And the movie banner, you know, you're gonna be able to 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 play the story, get more orbs that way. It's weird that they didn't have a story for movie four. I still kind of think they might have a movie four part two, which is why they did it so early. Um, it would kind of make sense just to get another full Haluichi go and maybe get like crazy Kokuto and who knows who person number three would be. But, you know, it would be interesting. Um, okay, here we go. I haven't seen any of this. Here we go. <laughs> Let me skip a few seconds. Okay. Did you guys notice that name? It said Dark Lukia. <laughs> okay. Times 2 banner. Taking a look at Kisuke. Let's take a look at his. Oh, wow. That looks cool. Look at that. Dang. Look at the spiral on Kisuke. That looks so cool. <laughs> He's my favorite character and I might have to skip him. That sucks. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Um, all right. So his abilities. I believe he's a nat character. He's a ranged nat character with healing, uh, with a healing soul trait. Um, like I said, it's he, well. He's got a plus fifty bruiser. That's what's good. He's also got um, paralysis on a strong attack one and three, and his special and his strong attack two is a vortex. He, like I said, he is a uh, he is a ranged character, so that nat is actually going to come handy, and he's actually going to be really good at autoing because of that. Um, since he is a ranged character and he has healing, you know, autoing with him is going to be, it's going to be pretty smooth, I would imagine. I haven't seen his attack. I don't know what the range is on it, um, but I would imagine he's, he's, he'd be really good at autoing. Uh, not so much everything else, not good PvP. Um, depending on his range, maybe good in guild quests, but we'll see. Um, I have a feeling they're going to show us this. Oh, we're going to show all oh, Okay. Okay, let's do it. There we go. Oh, wow. Hold on. Okay, his range is pretty cool. I also really like the sound that Benihime makes.
Oh, it's a crawling vortex. That's even better. Dang. That looks really cool. I'm, I'm really glad they're using Benihime to, to his attacks. Dang. They're also, from what I can tell, they're... Hold on. I think the third one is piercing. I don't think the first one is, which is a shame. The third... Sh uh, it's kind of like Byakuya's in that way, in that the third st attack on the string, the one that sends three flying, is piercing, which uh, helps increase the combo. Um, but the first two are not. Oh, I'll have to see it. Yeah, the, f the, the third one is piercing, so that's good. Um, dang, that looks so cool. Makes me really want to summon for this character, but man, why did they have to do it so early? <laughs> Although I do have, I do get the feeling we're gonna get a lot of chances to get orbs, so it's not that you know, probably won't be a big deal. I will summon on this. It just I won't go all out. So that was Kisuke. Uh, we did see a little bit of Rukia's attack. Uh, for these guys, they're also NAD characters. They have normal tech damage link. Soul River Killer, no affiliation. Um, the very interesting thing about this character is that they switch. One of them is ranged and the other one is melee, uh, which has never been done before. Um, it's probably the new, the new mechanic they were working on, the update. And it's probably the reason that, Fate, that uh, Hellverse, the movie 4 banner, came out before this one because that they probably didn't have this character fixed yet um my opinion anyway who knows anyway like i said they're uh they've got a plus 40 bruiser plus 40 berserker they've got debilitator i believe they got debilitator yeah they got debil they have they can inflict weakening on everything um they are nat characters so they don't have a ch they don't have frenzy so they don't you know they don't have a double the chance of inflicting uh weakening but you know still one of them is ranged, one of them is melee, third strong attack is the one that switches them, and the third strong attack for both is melee. So, we're about to see what it looks like, and I'm very excited to see this. Let's see. Let's see, there we go. <laughs> I think she was the ranged one, okay. It's gonna, it's gonna, dang, it's gonna make things really interesting, especially if they continue to do this with other characters, with SP characters. If they do this for a strong attack recharge character, <laughs> that looks so cool. If they do this for a strong attack recharge character, um, it's gonna really change the way to play guild quest because that would be a character you could take on anything uh for melee or ranged kind of i will say i feel like this is a trial character they gave it to this character to kind of test out what it can do with this unique ability um which is why his nat is kind of slow Like you would think his his net with the scythe would be faster. Hers kind of makes sense because ranged characters are typically that slow, but uh, kind of makes sense. And of course he's weakened, so that's good. 
that he's kind of like Zangetsu in that way, white white Tenza, white Zangetsu, in that he's nad, they're nad, I guess they're nad because it's <laughs> today, um, they're nad and they can inflict weakening on everything, um, so it's a plus. And then there's Rukia, the character that the movie character that I wanted the most, <laughs> that I might have to not get this time around. Um, strong attack recharge character, really high SP, no affiliation, which is really good. It's gonna make her really good in like things like uh, droplet zones, inherited zone, uh, inheritance zones, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, like I said, str uh, strong attack recharge, high high SP, frenzy, debil, weakening on everything, charge move on strong attack three. Um, it's really, like I said, I haven't seen this. This is just what the game gives you in the information. I, I did see her nad just because they kind of showed it earlier when they showed off Kisuke. Um, but let's see what she has. I do, all, all we know is literally that, that her range is good on her nad because it's all we've seen. Decent. Wow, her attack speed isn't that fast either. And that's a 200, okay. No big deal. I can make this work. That range is a good range. It's not as flashy as I thought. Okay, and that's regular. That's actually pretty cool. That actually looks cool. The good thing about this character is because she's strong attack recharge and can inflict weakening on everything and the frenzy. It's it's just gonna if you stack that strong attack recharge, it's just gonna really give you the opportunity to inflict weakening. That's probably the best combo, strong attack recharge and weakening. And that looks like it has better, well, some of the, one of the better ranged uh, strong attacks that can charge. Sometimes their range is not that great. Although I do wonder why they gave her, why they put her in a hollow, um, a hollow raid. When she has a Soul Reaper killer. I also wish they would have gave this given this character links for this showcase, just because it would have really showed off what she can do. Because right now it's just kind of based stuff. And there's Rukia. So yeah, those are the three new characters. It's fade to black. Like I said, summon at your own risk. I am going to summon, but there's no way I'm going to go full, uh, full orbs on this because I might use up the ones that I have but I'm not gonna go and try to get more orbs just for this banner because it's step ups is coming and I really don't want to do that to myself so <laughs> yeah some at your own risk let's see if there's anything else uh no it looks like that's the end of the show yeah so there you go that's the new banner um it is exciting they are all good and, uh, I know people are getting upset because Kisuke got shafted on his soul trait again but that plus 50 bruiser um, kind of in a way it makes up for it. The, the bruisers used to be at plus 30, you know, and this one's at plus 50. So it's kind of like he has that built into him already, the, the, the strong attack, uh, normal attack damage built into him already. And he's going to be good for autoing. So I really, I really, you know, if I get him, good. Because <laughs> he's my favorite character. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I guess I won't I won't release the other video since I kind of went over all the character stats on this one too. So uh, I do kind of want to go over really quickly. Whoops! How the heck did I end up there? That's where I wanted to end up. Okay. All right, I do want to go over the um, the characters that will be in the filler in the in the the, the filler characters on here. So. If I remember correctly, Kisuke has Yukio and Tag Team Retsu. Um, the the fillers for the main one, the double chance gacha, is Stark, uh, which is good. Uh, Soifon, but uh, Fulbring Soifon, I guess. Uh, the uh, 
the Lost Agent Soifon, which is really good, um, and Baragon, which is also really good, uh, as well as Apache, Byakuya for some reason, um, that was the uh, full bring Byakuya, which is not great, and uh, and dang it, what's the other character for that one? Um, Isane. Which is also not great. So really, Baragan, Stark, and Soifun are the only ones, and I guess Apache are the only good ones in the in the main in the main banner. Uh, like I said, Yukio and Tag Team Retsu on the on Kisuke's on Rukia's. It's U Tag Team Ukitake, Tag Team Jushiro, um, and dang it, I forget the other one. Um, it's on the game. I'm sorry, I can't really I can't really remember uh, all that well, but it's in the game. Uh, dang, I wish I had more information for you guys. I really thought I would remember that. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. That's it for the gameplay. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're going to summon. Because I really i am kind of hesitant on it myself, to be honest. Um, it, this, it might be a better opportunity to go singles, honestly, for the single banners. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, that's it for this video. Take care.